significance of this ceremony is more than symbolic. It embodies the fruits of conquering partnerships between Portugal and the international community, and it embodies Portugal's firm belief in effective multilateralism and in a rules-based international order. It is not a coincidence that we gather today in the same place where, in 1998, Lisbon hosted the Universal Exhibition. Expo 1998 was held during the International Year of the Oceans, and it was dedicated to the oceans. As an intrinsically maritime country, the ocean is a key pillar of Portugal's development and Portugal's international stance. Promoting the sustainable management of the ocean has been a strategic priority for Portugal since the beginning of the 2013 Agenda negotiations. As a country in the front line of the oceans, of the oceans related for multilateral discussions, we were among those that called for a standalone goal dedicated to the ocean, SDG 14, which now sets out to conserve and to sustainably use the ocean's resources. Co-hosting together with Kenya, and I thank the delegation of Kenya, the 2022 UN Ocean Conference is therefore a natural step that we take in fulfilling a shared responsibility to accelerate the implementation of SDG 14. The conference comes at a time of urgency for the ocean in face of the triple planetary crisis of climate change, nature and biodiversity loss, and pollution and waste, ensuring that everybody has a voice and a role in tackling these emergencies. We expect the conference to give a decisive impetus in transforming our relationship with the ocean. I would be remiss today if I did not con convey our profound appreciation to all of the staff of the United Nations for their tireless efforts leading the preparatory work for the past months. And of course, I thank all of the Portuguese staff who have worked hard alongside them for many years. I now hand over the Alti Serena in conference ready condition as we take great pride in seeing the blue flag of the United Nations waving next to our national flag in a few short moments. Our 2022 UN Ocean Conference, which will be held here from June 27th to July 1st. We would not have reached this historic milestone without close and fruitful cooperation between the United Nations and the two co-hosts of the conference, Portugal and Kenya. During months of preparations, we are deeply appreciative of their leadership, commitment and dedication. As the Secretary General of the Conference, I'm pleased to receive the venue in conference ready condition. I'm grateful for the hard work of the thousands of people in Portugal who have devoted their services to the completion of the conference venue. I would like to express my profound appreciation to you, Mr. Foreign Minister, for your extraordinary leadership in guiding the preparations for this historical conference.